Hi everybody and welcome to DIY Home and Garden. I'm going to do something just a little bit different today and do an on-screen video for you. And what I am making today is a homemade makeup remover. Some of you who have followed me for a while know that when I started DIY Home and Garden, I was working in the makeup industry and it's something that I really love is doing makeup and playing with makeup. I just find it wonderful and transformative and gives me confidence when I wear my makeup. So something I love, what I don't love is trying to take it off when I'm all done wearing it. Some of the products tug and pull and just don't take the makeup off efficiently. So I have found a way to inexpensively and healthily remove my makeup. The next time you are at a drugstore or a makeup counter, I would challenge you to look at the ingredients that are in the makeup removers. And once you see the chemicals in them, you're gonna agree that this is the best way. I recommend, this is a do as I say, not as I do. I recommend that you use a brown dropper bottle that you can purchase online. I happen to have just emptied out a little two ounce or so hand sanitizer bottle. I'm sure all of us have these around right now with this pandemic ongoing. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm adding jojoba oil. You're gonna see I'm gonna go about three quarters of the way full with the jojoba oil. You see it has a little bit of a golden color. Okay, so there's the jojoba oil. It's spelled J-O-J-O-B-A if you look for it online. And I will put a purchase link to this brand that I have in the notes section. So there's my jojoba oil. I like this oil because it is safe for oily skin. It's safe for all skin types. Even in my 50s, I have combination oily skin with dry patches in some places. Um, so this is great for me. It doesn't cause me to break out. It is the oil that most closely matches the sebum in your skin's outer layer, which is the healthy fatty acids in your skin. So, help support that. Next, I have just plain old vitamin E that you get at the drugstore. And then put in a, about a half a teaspoon of that. You can see I'm not measuring here. And next, this is rosehip seed oil. Also very, very good for the skin, especially if you have aging skin like I have. So, this comes in a dropper. And give it two droppers full. Right now we're filled to about this, this much. And the last thing that I'm going to add is an organic orange essential oil. Okay, that was 20 drops. Some people will try to convince you that orange essential oil has vitamin C in it and is good for your skin. Vitamin C is excellent for your skin. It's a great antioxidant. However, through the distillation process, most of the vitamin C is gone from the orange oil, so it has very little therapeutic benefit, but the fragrance is very energizing and just wakes up your skin and it feels really, really good to kind of get that little fragrance that it gives you. Okay, that smells really nice, and I'm going to shake it. You could top it off with the jojoba oil, too, if you wanted to. This little bottle will last me several weeks. Okay, I'm going to show you just how easy. Even though it is yellow in color, you're going to see it's clear if you put it on the skin. You see there's no orange there. You're getting the shine of my light. There you go. All right, so what I'm going to do, Let's grab a cotton round here, a clean one, and take off a little bit of my makeup. I'm not taking off my eye makeup, y'all. I'm wearing my favorite lashes today. Okay, just like that. You can see. So what I like to do is just apply it all over my face, let it sit just a few minutes, and then take a round and go back over then I rinse everything and then I cleanse because you always want to cleanse after you remove your makeup. So just to show you just like that, I made a little two ounces and this is far, far less costly than any makeup remover. And it has organic 
healthy ingredients because I buy the organic products to start with. So you get what you put into your skin and I just wanted to share this tip because I was making up a batch today and I thought it might be something that y'all would enjoy. So I hope you give it a try. I think you'll enjoy it a lot more than the commercial preparations and find it very, very effective and your skin will look and feel better for using it. So I thank you for watching and until the next time, I hope you have a happy DIY day.